What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. Let's do a full day of eating together. If you guys don't know, hi, if you're new. I'm Blair, I'm a dietitian, and I don't know, I just feel like with this all Gwyneth Paltrow eating air for lunch and broth for dinner, I'll show you what an actual person eats. And I never share these two with the intention for you to mimic them because what works for me won't work for you. But I do find these videos helpful in my regard as well when I am educating my clients or just trying to give new meal ideas to you guys. And I know you like them as well. So let's not take this that seriously. We are doing a full day of eating. Every day is different, but I'm about to make breakfast. Um, I just had a matcha latte. And I'll show you what I use for my matcha lattes. Because I, of course, didn't film it. But I love getting, we're gonna use the invention again. If you know, you know. Women in STEM, because this cabinet does not stay open otherwise. All right. I love getting protein. Let's get some light here. I love getting protein first thing in the morning. So um, I wake up and I drink some water as much as I feel like I want. Um, but I like to drink water first. Like as you're sleeping, your body's dehydrated for that amount of time. So I like to give it some some good hydration then i do matcha latte i haven't done coffee in whew, i don't know how long i don't make it at home if i go out to work at a coffee shop obviously i buy coffee because i'm not just gonna sit there and use their wi-fi okay like a little cheapo but um if they have matcha a lot of places are having matcha now which wasn't the case before at least in houston so i We'll froth my milk. This is the almond milk I'm using right now. My camera just died. So we are making this milk. I just add my vanilla or my stevia into this. And then I also add some vanilla extract or I've done like almond extract, hazelnut extract, whatever flavor you want. Okay, mix that up. Then it's just ready to go. It's easy. Then I take Vital Protein's Matcha Collagen Latte Mix. I like this one when I want protein in the morning. Two scoops is 10 grams of protein. So it's nice just to get a little protein uh head start in the day and this also has like a just other good obviously amino acids and i just i don't know sometimes i don't like drinking matcha on an empty stomach so this kind of helps with the protein and especially if i'm like running out the door this is great if i don't want to use this or if i don't have it i have this little matcha guy from h mart that i got it was like 10 bucks and it's just green tea powder and if i'm using this one then i will just add my little collagen my plain collagen peptides to it also from vital proteins i mix it together with a whisk and call it a day so that is my last latte if i make another one later tonight later today i'll show you because sometimes i'm in Getting a little crazy with my matcha. All right, moving on to actual breakfast. So I've had my water, I've had my matcha. Now it's time for the main event. I need to, I need to calm down. Um, okay, so I'm gonna make two eggs. I've been really into just making like a big scramble. It's easy. Two eggs. I'm gonna add a uh, chopped jalapeno and onion, but I just add like whatever veggies we have. So. We have like this one cut and ready to go. So I'll use this and this. Um, okay, so no jalapeno, just red bell pepper, onion, but it literally changes every single day. Scramble those up with two eggs. Then on the sides, I have just some strawberries. I'll do a handful of greens and then the rest of these tomatoes just because I have them. So I love a majority of protein in my breakfast, I'm also gonna toast up a piece of bread. So how I toast, we don't have an actual toaster. I just broil, start my oven, broil. Come over here and I have this, it's like Mike's Killer Bread dupe from Aldi, really great. 
So I'm just gonna toast up one piece of this while everything else cooks. And this is a very hearty breakfast for me and it keeps me full for a while, which I really enjoy. Um, because I get a lot of my work done personally like in the morning. So if I can just like create, make a quick breakfast and then just sit back down and, oh my God, my hair is stuck in my glasses. Ah. Why does it do that? Ugh. So what I was saying, if, this is funny because I'm not editing this, but my glass, my hair sometimes gets stuck in my glasses and then it rips it out and then I have all these little baby hairs. So if you can relate to that, let me know. Or if you even hack for that, what is that? I don't even know. But if I can just crank out, like eat a quick breakfast that's really filling, satiating, full of different nutrients, and then get back to my work, that's ideal for me. Um, and I haven't worked out yet today. It is, what time is it even? 9 a.m. 9.30, it's 9.38 a.m. And I've already done, I've been up for a while. I've been up since around 6 a.m. I did my taxes this morning, which God bless if you are an independent contractor. <laughs> my thoughts and prayers are with you this season. Um, I'm also, I also got invited to a TikTok event, which is really exciting. I've never been invited for an event, to an event from like TikTok. Um, so they're having like, obviously it's women's month. Obviously this month, I cannot speak. This is why I always edit, but I'm being real honest with you guys. I'll just show you the invite because I don't, or I'll just talk to you about the invite because I can't remember exactly um, what it's from. Okay, the TikTok creator team, like legit. It's Women Who Will, Women's History Month. It's an event in Austin and it's next week and I'm going, so I am trying to like book travel uh I, I live in houston so it's just a quick drive it's like two hours but i'm gonna i think make a little trip out of it and stay in airbnb stay there maybe for like two days um and hang out in austin so if you have any austin wrecks let me know but i'm very excited it's always cool to like get recognized by the platform that you are performing on performing that sounds weird but like it is kind of like a it's like when your boss recognizes you and you get to go to like the, like, I don't know, what is it called for like salespeople when they hit a certain sale, then they get to go on like the president's club trip or whatever. It's kind of cool like when you're the boss recognizes your hard work. So I'm very excited for that. Um, and I don't know, I don't get a, I, I don't get a plus one. Like I was gonna bring Matt they gave me a plus one, but it can only be another female like creator. Very specific because it is a women's history creator specific event. So I can't bring Matt, which I'm kind of bummed about, but um, it'll be good. It'll put me out of my comfort zone because normally I just cling to him at these kind of events. Um, and I just need to get out of my comfort zone and meet new people. So I'm excited, but let's get to cooking. Matt and I cleaned our whole house yesterday. So it feels really good in here. And I have my favorite pans, the Drew Barrymore ones. I can't get enough of them. If you guys have not gotten them yet, or if you um, need new pans, it's like a, a set for like a hundred bucks. Avocado oil spray. Oh my God. Drew Barrymore, we got Rachel Ray's balsamic glaze. So random. Here's what we have. Just let these cook down. Break my yolk. Okay, we got this cooking. I'm just gonna start assembling my plate. I'm just gonna do the rest of these tomatoes. I'm obsessed with these big tomatoes from Costco. They're like multicolored ones. Cherry tomatoes, grape tomatoes, whatever you call them, work. A handful of fresh strawberries, also from Costco. Oh my god. I put cayenne pepper and some garlic powder in my eggs, and it's making me sneeze a little bit. Scramble's looking good. 
I'm gonna turn the heat off for them to finish without overcooking. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. If you're wearing headphones, I'm sorry that was loud. I can't edit it. Ugh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. I'm unwell. I'm gonna take a handful of this 50-50 spring mix spinach blend. Just do a handful. Just gonna rip it up a little bit. I top it with just balsamic glaze, it's my favorite. All right, I got the bread in the oven, toasting up. Then just do a little salt, some flaky salt, and black pepper on my eggs. Get my bread. All right, well, she's toasted. Too long, but the backside is so squishy still. So I'm gonna try to scrape some of this off. If you ever burn your toast, a little bit better. I don't mind too much. I'm one of those people who like everything burnt. All right, I'm gonna add the eggs just on top of the toast, best I can. Salt, pepper, because clearly I need more pepper after my sneezing fit. A little bit of flaky salt on everything. And this is my breakfast. Let me show ya. Ooh. Guys, that cayenne pepper really, really did me in. Those are, that's also all trash. But here is the final product. All the color, we love to see it. Delish. All right, I'm gonna eat and then get back to work, clean all this stuff up. So this portion of the vlog is sponsored by Princess Polly, so thank you, you guys know I've been working with them for years, I love them. This top is actually from Princess Polly. It's like a oversized, multicolored dress shirt. Um, I wear it as a swimsuit cover up a lot, and you guys always ask about it. But Princess Polly ships within the US, and they offer free standard shipping, which is three to six days, to the US um, on orders over $50. And they also offer Afterpay and ShopPay. My discount code you can use for 20% off is just Blair20, I'll have it here, and everything linked down below. But let's get into the fun part of the haul. Let me start with the repurchase, actually. I bought two things in the same style of dress that I already have in one. When you see these on, you'll be like, okay, sis, I get it. You know, I'm gonna scooch over so I can split screen here i have this dress in navy it is this gorgeous tube top what are these called strapless hello strapless dress it's like a maxi dress and it's rib material it's so flattering i got it in brown and also in white this dress snatches you what size did i get i got a size us6 also if you hear children screaming in the background there's a park by by us so <laughs> don't don't be alarmed so i have it in white and brown, so flattering, it just hugs the body, and I now have this dress in three different colors. If that doesn't tell you that I like genuinely love this product, I don't know what to tell you, sis, because I do. You know, repurchases, I find one thing that I love and I buy in every color. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me, but in my bridal era, I got this white little dress, this frilly little dress, I'll just show you here. Um, it's so flattering and it is a little bit short though, so I will have to wear like spandex underneath it. I got a size US 6 and it's super flattering. It has like a nice little tool underneath it to kind of make it puffy, which I love. I've got the same exact thing in red because I just felt like a spicy little mama in this. I don't know why I said that, but you know, here we are. US 6 again. And then I got it in black. I have this exact one. 
in the short sleeve version in brown that I showed in my last video and I wore the rodeo this year and last year, I wanted it in black. And this is the long sleeve version of it, which is always flattering. And this one's a romper, so it's not as scandalous as the dresses, okay? This dress I'm actually obsessed with. It's so flattering. Class, like all I can say is class to a T. It's this like sweetheart neckline ribbed black dress. It feels so high quality, it has a slit right here. Giving like Aritzia vibes, like such good thick knit material. I just need to show you up close. Hello, thick. And it's just stunning. Look at that little cap sleeve moment. So flattering. I love it. It's just like streamlined and it just sucks. You. What did I get? I got a size US 6. I honestly probably could have sized down even one more to a US 4. Just for that like really snatched look. Okay, then I got some fun accessories. So I've been seeing everyone and their mother get the little Ugg slippers and I felt left out. So Princess Polly had their own version which are, they have like the little elastic band. Put my hand in there so you can see. And they're just so cute and comfortable and I love them. So they're fuzzy, soft, hard bottom. So good quality there. Been wearing those already. I got some bridal accessories. So I got these like gorgeous pearl earrings, which I feel like everyone has been wearing. Um, and I've been seeing them for so expensive. So the fact that Princess Polly had them, they're like little pearlescents, love them. And then, oh, I've been wanting a pair of boots like this for so long. These give me like shoots, 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 is that the brand vibes? It's like a bone color, croc. There we go, that's the true color of this. Like a bone, croc, stiletto, pointed toe heel. With the Sorry, my camera uh, card was full, so you're a little zoomed back out now. The park is going wild right now, so just ignore that. But I'm obsessed with these, um, and that is everything I got from Princess Polly. So you guys can use my discount code BLAIR20 to get 20% off any of these products. Let's get back to the vlog. Okay, I've been doing some computer work, and... I want a little drinkity drink. So, we have this little beverage fridge in our, uh, what is this, like a mudroom? Laundry room? I don't know. And you open it, and it has all of our favorite drinks in it. I did like a restock video on my Instagram and my TikTok, um, if you guys wanna see, but just have some coconut water. This Kin Euphoric, so I got some questions about it. Um, it's like, actually, I think I mentioned this all in my last video, or two videos ago, my hour-long vlog, so check that out, but basically, it's just like a euphoric adaptogen drink, it's alcohol-free, Matt and I went, stop, or are not drinking nearly as much this year, I think I've drank like three times, and it's almost April, which is way less for me than I was, um, and it, this one specifically, there's like different types, so this one is, it says what, social hour up there. And you just do like a shot of this. Kind of treat it like a liqueur. Um, and we just put it in like a poppy or a sparkling water. And it's supposed to like kind of make you feel uppity without having any alcohol in it. Um, and then I just have my poppy. I love poppy, you guys know. I love this flavor. And then the raspberry one. So strawberry lemon and then raspberry rose. Then Spindrift, I love all their flavors. Of course, Diet Coke, and then Olipop. Love Olipop as well. Um, and then just some protein shakes down here. But, reason why I brought you over is because I got a grape one. And we're gonna do my little frozen fruit hack. So let's grab a wine glass with this. This is always right. <laughs> uh. If you're engaged or you're married, the moment you get engaged, everyone just like starts sending you wine glasses with like different <laughs> Mrs. Right or like other stuff on them. It's kind of funny, you have so many of them. All right, so I'm gonna do blueberries today, but you guys know the little hack I do. I do frozen fruit instead of ice in my beverages and it kind of well, it gives me like a little snack. Um, adds some fiber as well, which we love. 
These are wild blueberries, have a ton of antioxidants in them. And I don't know, I just, they keep my drink cold without watering it down. And then grape flavor Olipop. If you like grape flavored things, you'll love this. If you're unfamiliar with Olipop, it has like nine grams, right? Nine grams of fiber per can. So just like a, what do they mark it as? Like a prebiotic botanical sparkling tonic. I think they just taste really good. And if you're gonna give me some extra fiber, I'm not gonna complain, okay? Um, and I just put it with my frozen fruit. It's an easy little mocktail and just like a fun little midday beverageino. So I'm gonna drink this since we're doing full day of eating. Mm. Um, full day of eating, I'm doing so much computer work. I've just been like posted up right here. So much wedding stuff to do. I finished all my taxes. I think I already said that, which is mind blowing. Um, well, I didn't finish them. I just sent everything to my accountant. I got everything like organized, which is huge. But I have my to-do list. We can kind of go over this. Let me get my blanket. If you guys still have not gotten this blanket, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's at my Amazon storefront, um, which everything's always linked down below. Okay, I have to edit this full day meeting video. Well, I guess I don't really have to edit it, but I have to like put the clips together and all that. Um, oh, I filmed a full day of eating when I was like hungover. Is that something you guys would wanna see? I'm like going back and forth with it because I never wanna like promote drinking, but it's also like very realistic and I feel like, I don't know why, I get so in my head on some of my uploads, like I'll film so much stuff that I'm like, I always think like the worst. And I'm like, oh, you're gonna get canceled. <laughs> it's just like a daily thing. I feel like especially in the health and wellness field, like people are so quick to be like, just cancel everyone. So I get nervous, whatever. Let me know if you guys would wanna see what I eat when I'm <laughs> hungover. I thought it was funny. Um, then I have, I ordered every bridal shoe off Amazon, like literally like over 10 pairs. And I wanna review them with you guys. So I have all those in my office. I have to film that today. And then I have to film um, a Princess Polly haul, which I think might just go in this video because uh, I don't know. I need to get it up, so it could be a little, I don't know, we'll see. Um, then I have to finalize my bridesmaids dresses, bridesmaid proposal boxes. I have one more thing I'm waiting for in the mail to come today, so once that happens, I'm going to package everything up. Um, I have to pay for our hotel room for the wedding, fill out some final forms from my uh, wedding planner. I applied for TSA pre-check, so I'm just waiting to hear back from them. And then I have to do some things with my health insurance since I'm like private. Um, there was one more thing I thought I had to do. Dang it. Uh, this is the Doing Well Daily Planner from my girl Danielle. If you guys don't know, Danielle Carolyn on YouTube, she's huge. Um, I On my TikTok, I'm doing like a little mini series of making food for my favorite influencers, like making recipes for them based on what they like. Um, I have to do my next one. I'm thinking Kenzie Elizabeth, if you guys know her. But let me know if you guys have anyone that you want me to do. I basically just like watch all their vlogs and figure out what they like and then create a recipe. And yeah, I'm doing that on my TikTok and on my... Um, YouTube shorts, so we should check that out. But yeah, um, I'm gonna get back to doing this stuff, and then I have to fill out, or put makeup on and film the Amazon video and my Princess Polly haul, and then we'll go to the gym. I don't know what we're gonna do today, whether it's F45, whether it's the gym, whether it's Pilates, who knows? But I'm just gonna sit and chill, drink my Olipop. Mm. Got a little blueberry in there. Can't beat it. All right. Jump scare. <laughs> I just did my makeup and I'm about to film all of these Amazon shoes that I bought. I have so much shit everywhere. But I basically ordered every bridal Amazon shoe 
every bridal shoe off Amazon to review on my TikTok. So um, I'll try to, if I can get it under a minute, then I can post it on YouTube Shorts. Otherwise, I can't because YouTube Shorts is only a minute. I'm still working that through. But I got this PR package in the mail just now from... Um, oh, coupons. I love coupons. Um, from the RD Link. Um, it's great. They're like a dietitian... They basically connect dietitians with different brands, and I met the creator of this at the Vital Proteins brand trip. So she sent a little PR package of different brands they work with. So we got Cliff Bar, these Bada Bean Bada Booms. These are so good. I've had the big bags from Costco before. And Seven Sundays, so I'm actually going to probably snack on maybe these. <laughs> All right, I just finished filming all the shoes, and I basically just ate like half this bag. This is really good. It's seven Sundays real cocoa, eight ingredients, one gram of sugar. I like them because it's like big pieces of cereal. You see that? Uh, mm. I love dry cereal. I'll do another Amazon haul, but I got some hair stuff off Amazon that I'll quickly show you as well. I've been really trying to get into my blowout era because I got a shark air wrap. I talked to you guys about that in a couple videos ago. But this little sleepy bun magic thing is so good. It, it prolongs your blowout. So basically you just sleep with your hair in a top bun. You don't look crazy. I'm like very aware of not wanting to look crazy when I go to bed. I'm like, I'm just not going to put leggings, leggings in my hair. I'm not going to like, I just... I want to look better than that when I go to bed personally. You can do whatever you want, but this doesn't look crazy. It's just like a top bun and it goes on top of your head. And even Matt was like, I wouldn't have even noticed that that was like doing anything for you because it looks so discreet. So if you were also in the same uh, situation as that, <laughs> I will link this as well. I can maybe show you myself putting it in tonight. And then I also want to get into the rollers. I feel like everyone and their mother literally on TikTok have been using these rollers. So I'm going to blow my hair out with the Dyson, or not Dyson, the Shark Air app. And use these while it's hot to set the curls. So I bought a bunch of those. We'll experiment. I don't know. I just, if you have any tips, please let me know. I'm trying to get the wedding hair looking right. Um, okay. And these are the two dresses. Let's do a try on. Hopefully they're good. Okay. I just made a little bowl of that cereal with some almond milk that I showed you earlier. Um, but I finished it because I forgot I was filming. Oh, it's really dark. Well, I'm sick. Now, I'm just drinking a mini Diet Coke. Get ready to go to the gym. Um, Matt's home. <laughs> And I also just snacked on a few of these little, what are these? Crispy coconut rolls from Costco. So yummy. Like little chocolate wafers from when we were younger. I'm just checking in. Cheers. Diet Coke break. Mm. Right. Just watched an island of an island of Love Island episode. Oh. Having some bell peppers. Just in a snacky mood today. That bowl of cereal got a lot of fiber in it. I'm pretty sure because that filled me up. Mm -hmm. I'm also having some of these. Sorry, Sarah. <laughs> they're really good. They're twice big. I think she said they're from Aldi, but they're better than the normal ones. I don't know. They're listen. Listen to the crunch. <laughs> Rob, you're crazy. Okay. Skilly Billy Bob. Bob I'm Skilly Billy Bob. I don't want to get copy Billy. copyright. Hmm? I don't want to get copyright for your. Oh, my song. Yeah. No 
comfy, right? Hey, fine, I'll go to the gym. Leave me alone. All right, about to go to the gym. It is 7 p.m. I've just been snacking uncontrollably. Um, I had my bell peppers and tzatziki pita chips with that. Then I had some more of the coconut roll-ups, had some leftover Chinese food. Okay. Typically, I'd be like, you know, I don't really feel like going to the gym today. We're going to mark this one up as a loss. But I know I'm going to feel better if I just get out of the house because I have not left the house today. And I know for my mental health that that's not good. So, 7 p.m., I'm going to the gym, which I never do. Matt is at golf right now. Like, they play fake golf. It's this whole thing. I don't know. Men. Um, I'm going to do a fit check. I have these new leggings that I got the other day. They are the Alpha Elite Amplify leggings. Um, because, I'll tell you a little story time. I was at the gym the other day, and I was doing the hack squat, which is where you have the weight on your back. It's like a machine, and you squat down. And then you... Oh, press up, right? So I was getting low, I was getting really low. That's the benefit of the hack squat, you can get really low. Lower than just like a, a normal barbell squat. So I'm getting really low. Oh. My pants rip. My pants rip right up the butt. Right up the butt. So, huh. um, I lift that heavyweight back up and I'm scared because I work out at Alpha Land and everyone around me is filming. It's like an influencer gym. Chances that my butt is on the internet are high, okay? So I have to, yeah, guys, so embarrassing. I have to waddle my way to the front. Luckily, I, the gym I work out at is owned by Alpha, Alpha Elite, so like leggings. Um, so I buy a new pair of $78 leggings Ugh, it's so annoying to buy. I don't know what brand they were. I can't remember the name of them. I got sent them. So like, they're in the trash now. I don't think I've ever even talked about them. I was just trying to have a good day. It was not a good day, okay? So, got some new leggings. This top is my Amazon tried and true. If you guys are ever, if you're new here. Shoes are Nike and I'm just upset that I ripped my pants. That was a sad day. That's a really sad day. I just got back from the gym and I'm starving. So this is a hodgepodge, oh, sorry, I left the cabinet open. Hodgepodge meal. There is no rhyme or reason, okay? We are doing turkey and cheese in a wrap. These are the best flour tortillas are like homemade from the bakery at HEB, if you're in Texas, you know, with honey mustard. Snacking on tomatoes. I'm gonna have half a papaya and then I also have some sausages cooking up that were in our freezer. So, random meal, I'm gonna eat this, and then if I'm still hungry, I'll eat something else. But, like, for example, today's meal's so weird, right? My breakfast was great, started off strong, great intention for the day. Had a lot of color, a lot of veg, a lot of fiber, a lot of protein, carb, it was a great balanced meal. Lunch, had a fat bowl of cereal, and also just snacking on cereal like the whole day. Had some bada bing bada boom beans or whatever they're called. What else did I have? I had a protein shake, I don't know if I showed that. I had, a, I had an Olipop. Now I'm having this. You know, not every day is aesthetically perfect, but I wanted to show you that it is okay. It's realistic. And it is what it is. Not every day is gonna be amazing, but it's very important to be transparent with this kind of stuff. So I wanna show you full day of eatings where like not everything is perfectly curated because that's clearly not, not it for me. Ideally, I would love that if I could have balanced meals every single meal, three times a day, perfectly balanced snacks. That ain't me, sis. So we're keeping it real. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Unedited, I'm kinda scared to go back and watch this because I was all over the place. <laughs> 